Hi, Kathleen here. I'd like to talk to you today about a quick way to make a brush out of a dab profile. Uh, you may have some brushes that you really like, but you're not that crazy about what happens when you put the brush on canvas and the dab that it first makes. Or you want to make something a little bit different, it looks different, but you like the way that brush reacts to what you're doing. Uh, so let's move on and I'll show you how to do that quickly. So I have a brush that I like and it's called Clouds. But I'm not that crazy about the dab and I will show you why. First, let's create a new document to create our dabs on. You come up to File, New, and I have one that is for creating dabs. The size, are, this is measured in pixels and it's 1024 by 1024. The resolution is 150. And this doesn't really matter for this. I like to keep it a little bit larger so that my brushes are larger, but sometimes if they're too large, they can lag. But for this, I think it's gonna work well. Just remember, you can always change this to 100. Uh, less resolution makes a little bit smaller brush, but it also works faster. So I'm gonna say okay. So this brush has a tendency to have too many little poofy areas and it kind of has a triangle dab. So I would like to change that. And there are many different ways that you can do it by using your advanced brush controls. You can see the stroke that it makes along there. And this is the dab preview. And this is what we're going to capture to make a new brush, but with the same settings that this brush is, because I like the way it reacts, but I'm not that crazy about the dab. So it makes just too many little triangle shapes. Now I can change that by using some of these other settings, but I think what I want is something that is a little bit closer to a cloud shape. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to get a black color. So I'm going to add a layer, and when I add a layer, know that to capture your dab, this has to be one layer. It has to be on the canvas. But I like to do this because I will manipulate my dabs a little bit and paint them and get them to the way I want them. And I will grab it and use my adjuster tool and come over here and transform it. So there are many options for manipulation. Okay, so here's my new creation for this dab. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, since I've already dropped this to the canvas, is come over and say Select All, and then I'm going to come up. Make sure you're on the brush that you want to mimic all of the settings, and Brushes, Capture Dab, and there your dab shows up in this little preview. All right, so I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna add a layer and give it a little bit of a gray color just so I have something to work on. And since these are clouds, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up into the white and come over here and there, there is my new cloud brush. Okay, so many different things that you can do creating brush dabs and then creating brushes out of those using the settings of the brushes that you really enjoy. It is just that simple. So if I wanna save this, then what I'm going to do is come up and go to brushes and say, save variant. And now I'm going to save it as uh, clouds four. I'm gonna save it in my brush category, my brush creations that I make. And there I have my clouds and put it right here. So now I wanna go back to the brush that I used, this clouds, and you see how it clicks over to the, the first brush. I'm going to reset that. That way I still have my other clouds brush, but then I've also got my new, new brush right here. What I wanna do then is I wanna come over here 
and I want to right click on this. I want to say export variant and then I want to save it in a category that you choose. So I'm going to say save clouds four. And there we go. It's backed up and so that you can use it and transport it into any category that you would like to. I can also save this brush from one category to another category by right click and then I'm going to say save variant. And there's my cloud four and I'm going to come down here and move it to my winter beach brushes and press save and there it moved it down to my winter beach brushes right here okay thanks for watching and i hope this helps